Welcome to part one of the module nine exam review. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm just going to write the problems down rather than work off the PDF because I there wasn't enough room for it to match your PDF anyway, so just doing this. So the first problem we have is x minus three y equals one and six x minus two y equals six. So it says you use the method of substitution. On the test, I'm not going to ask you to use particular methods, but you should be familiar with both these. Now, it is probably easiest to use substitution, and that is take this first one and solve this for x and then substitute it in the bottom. So here, if we add 3y to both sides, this is going to give us x equals 3y plus 1. Now, we can use this to substitute into the second equation. So wherever we see that x, we can write this 3 y plus 1. So 6 times 3y plus 1 minus 2y equals 6. So distribution here, 18y plus 6 minus 2y equals 6. So now combining like terms over here, 18y minus 2y is 16y plus 6 equals 6. Subtract some 6's. Here we get cancellation, so we get 16y equals 0, divide by 16, and we get y equals 0. So our solution being an ordered pair is something comma 0. To determine what the x value is, we can plug this in up here. So you have x equals 3 times 0 plus 1, so x equals 1. So 1, 0, that's our solution. We can always plug it back into the original equation, make sure we got the right answer, <clears throat> but that's the way we would go about doing that. So moving on to the second problem, <clears throat> we have negative 5x plus 6y equals negative 5, and we have negative 2x plus 3y equals negative 2. <clears throat> so it says solve this by substitution. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use elimination because it looks like the y's are easier to eliminate than using substitution. So what I'm going to do is multiply the second row by negative 2. So the first row, we still have negative 5 plus 6y equals negative 5, and this is an x, sorry about that, negative 5x. Second one, we do our distribution, we have 4x minus 6y equals 4, so we distribute there, there, and there, add these up, <coughs> excuse me, negative 5x plus 4x is a negative x, our y's cancel, and we get negative 1, divide by negative 1, and we get x equals 1. So x equals 1. <clears throat> now to find our y value, we can plug this into any of the equations that we want. Um, I guess let's plug it into this one right here. So we have negative 2 times 1 plus 3y equals negative 2. So negative 2 plus 3y equals negative 2. Add 2. 3y equals 0, divide by 3, and we get y equals 0. So, once again, that's the solution. Plug it in here, see if it's true. We're looking good. The, the next one, ooh, get up there, you. Okay, the next one we're going to take a look at is the third one. So we have x plus y equals 7, and 8x plus 8y equals 56. So this one I will use substitution on. That is, I'll take this first equation and solve this for x. So subtracting y, x equals negative y plus 7. So substituting that in here, we have 8 times negative y plus 7 plus 8y equals 56. Distribute here, so we have negative 8y plus 56 plus 8y equals 56. Combine like terms, and these cancel, so we get 56 equals 56. So if you remember, when the variables go away and you get something that's true, there's an infinite number of solutions. So an infinite number of solutions is what the solution would be for that. And now, recall if we would have got something like 7, 74 equals 3, something that's not true, that would mean there are no solutions. So because we got a true statement, 56 equals 56, there's an infinite number of solutions. That is essentially, these are the same line. If we get something like this, 74 equals 3, there are no solutions, which would mean that the two lines are, in fact, 
parallel and have, and have different y-intercepts. So they have the same slope but different y-intercepts. So let's look at this next one. This number four. It says the sum of two numbers. Uh, find two numbers whose sum is 34 and whose difference is 14. So I'm going to say the two numbers is, are x and y. So the sum is 34. That's x plus y equals 34. The difference is 14. Difference means subtract. So x minus y equals 14. These are good to eliminate right away. So we add these two together. 2x equals 48 divided by 2. And we get x equals 24. So 24, to find our y value, plug this back in. So 24 plus y equals 34. Subtract some 24s. <clears throat> y equals 10. So the two members we're looking for, the sum is 34. Add those together, get 34. Their difference, subtract them, <clears throat> is in fact 14. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Now moving to the next one. It says the perimeter of a rectangle is 36 meters. So right off the bat, I'm going to draw this. I'm going to give it a length and a width. Now the perimeter is the distance around. So length plus width plus length plus width. So we have two lengths plus two widths. And they said this is 36 meters. So we can say that. <clears throat> now it says if the width were doubled and the length were increased by 11, the perimeter would be 68. So if the width were doubled, we're talking about a new rectangle. If the width were doubled, we'd have two w's. And if the length were increased by 11, that'd be l plus 11. The new perimeter would be 68. So now the perimeter of this would be l plus 11 plus 2w plus l plus 11 plus 2w. So if we add these, l plus l is 2l. 11 plus 11 is plus 22. 2w plus 2w is plus 4w. So this is our original perimeter. This is the perimeter of our new rectangle with twice the width and 11 more in length. <clears throat> so now we need to solve the system now. I'm going to get this 22, subtract 22 from both sides, and bring this down. So I'm just going to multiply this because I'm going to eliminate the l's. Right now I can see I'm going to do that. So I'm going to multiply this top row by negative 1. So you get negative 2L minus 2W equals negative 36. The second row, we have 2L plus 4W. These 22s cancel. And then 68 minus 22 is 46. Add these two together. Our L's cancel. Negative 2W plus 4W is 2W. And this is going to equal 10 divided by 2. And our width is 5. So <clears throat> we want to find the length and the width of this rectangle. So we can say the width is 5 meters. Now the length, we can go back and use the fact that the original one, that is 2L plus 2W equals 36, so we can substitute it in here. So we have 2L plus 2 times 5 equals 36. So 2L plus 10 equals 36. Subtract 10, 2L equals 26. Divide by 2, the length is 13. So the width is 5 meters and the length is 13 meters. So that is the answer to that one. <clears throat> so we'll do maybe a couple more of these. I want to keep these videos at about 10 minutes. Um, I find that that's going to be best for most students. And... Um, yeah, and then we'll see what we can get done. So the next one, number six, we're using the method of elimination. So you can use substitution or elimination. Here if we have x minus 2y equals negative 7, and we have 5x minus 3y equals positive 7, I'm going to go ahead and actually use substitution because I can solve for the x really easily there. So solving for the x, I add 2y, so I get x equals 2y minus 7. Substitute that in for x down here. So we have 5 times 2y minus 7 minus 3y equals 7. Distribute. So we have 10y minus 35 minus 3y equals 7. Combine our like terms. So 10y minus the 3y is 7y minus 35 equals 7. Add 35. So you get 7y equals 42 divided by 7, 
and we get y equals 6. So we have our y coordinate, that's 6. And now, because I've used the method of substitution, we can plug our y in here just to get our x. So x equals 2 times 6 minus 7. So x equals 12 minus 7. So x equals 5. So our solution is 5, 6. So let's just do, we'll do one more, and then we'll call it um, good for this, and then we'll, we'll pick it up there in the, the next um, the next section. So we have number 7, we have x plus 5y equals 3, negative 6x plus 6y equals negative 18. Now, this one I will use elimination. I'll go ahead and eliminate, even though we could solve for the x here pretty easily. I'm going to multiply the top row by 6. So when I do that, this gives us 6x plus 30 y equals 18. So adding these together, our x's cancel. 36y equals 0. Divide by 36. And y equals 0. So our solution is 0, comma. <coughs> so to find our x, we can plug this back in this one right here. So we have x plus 5 times 0 equals 3. So x equals 3. And we can check that in the, the bottom one as well. If we have negative 6 times 3 and 6 times 0, that is our 18. 3 comma 0 is our solution to that one right there. So this was 7. The next video will start with number 8.